All right, what's going on guys? It's Blue here, and um, I'm gonna bring you my first tutorial on, uh, well, if you guys saw my last speed art that I uploaded, I did uh, uh, a text logo, and I got a lot of feedback on it. I think it was like, I got the most comment and most likes on any of my uploads right now, so that was really cool, so thank you guys for that. Um, anyway, I got a lot of messages on Skype, um, asking like how I was doing it, blah blah blah, like they people wanted one. So I'm gonna make a tutorial. Um I know rated designs he has one, but I think the I don't know, I don't watch his videos anymore. So the last like tutorial I saw him do this, like the text logo or whatever, I think it was like a year ago or something like that. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. Um but yeah so oops wrong key so i made this one for helix uh if you guys don't know who helix is it is ruse helix uh better known as sharky um guy who makes like all the sigs and stuff made that for him so we're just gonna get right into this because i don't want to make this too long um so i'm just gonna use the word text because it's pretty easy to work with because it's all almost all different letters I guess there's two T's but it's it's pretty easy when they're not um, when they're like separated by different letters uh, like with helix right here which I, like I had that H and then like the I was part of the like second part of the H and then there's like the L and then the U like it's it was really hard to work with something like that because like everything kind of forms in with each other so it, it was just kind of difficult to work with so uh the text that i'm using right now is vermin vibes i'll put that in the description and i'll put one more uh this is the other text they're both fun to work with so i'll put downloads for those um anyway we're gonna go back to vermin vibes wherever it is there it goes um and then we're gonna click this A right here. If you don't have this, I think it is character, maybe? I don't know, you can find it. Anyway, go to this V, A thing right here, and you're just gonna turn it to 200. Yours will probably be at zero, and it'll probably look like this, but just turn it to 200. Or if it is at zero and you don't, if you can't find this, whatever, you can just go like this and put spaces between it. Um, but I'm not gonna do that, because this is faster. So, 200. And what we're gonna do is right click on this, then rasterize the layer, and that just makes the layer uh, editable. And we're just gonna right click and layer via cut. Go back to down to our text layer and layer via cut. And one more. There be a cut. So we have the T, the X, the E, and the T. So the first thing I do, like when um, I do these, is I kind of just you kind of have to have, uh, I guess you could say, like imagination. Like you, you gotta, you gotta have an imagination to. <laughs> that kind of sounds gay, but to do like something like this, like. I don't know, it, like you gotta, you just gotta experiment, I guess you could just say. So with this T, we're gonna take this ugly top off because it just looks ugly. And so with this E, I'm just gonna form it right into this T. And as you can see like in this helix one, uh, you have like, if I zoom in, you have like these little line, oops. You have like these little lines and stuff like separating it. Uh, so instead of taking your pen tool and like trying to like make all of them, well that would be way too thick, making them all like the same length and everything like that, or just making a, like a rectangle and then like duplicating that around, um, I go like this. So we're gonna hold control or command if you're on a Mac and click on the T and we're gonna go to select modify and expand and it'll say uh, expand selection expand by 
we're going to do five pixels. This is in a 1280 by 720 document. So if you do five pixels in your document, if you have um, a 1280 by 720, it'll look the same. So then we're just going to click on the E and just click delete. And what that does is it deletes that, as you can see. Um, but if you look closely on this expand, when you expand this, uh, like with this edge right here, it doesn't make it sharp. It rounds it, and so you're you're stuck with like these little edges sometimes here. So you just gotta take your pen tool, ah, oh, excuse me, and delete that. Oops. Okay. So next, you can take the X and. I'm gonna line this up so it makes like a uh, thingy right there. I, I don't really know how to explain it. <coughs> Voice crack. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I want this X, like this part of the X right here, to expand up. And so I'm just gonna take the marquee tool and get that selection and right click and layer via copy. And then you can move this up to however far you want it and I'm going to lower the opacity on these and then I can see exactly like where I'm moving oops okay um and that looks good right there so we're just gonna put all these back to 100% and we're gonna merge this with the X and as you can see these aren't um, equal like in length so we're just gonna duplicate that by pressing ctrl J and we're gonna press ctrl T to go into the transform flip horizontal and flip vertical and then just click enter and you're just gonna you can lower the opacity on these two and you're just gonna line these up like with the copied layer. I'm just gonna make sure they're lined up. And that looks good enough right there because it's just a tutorial. Um, and then you're just gonna merge them and these will be equal. So this is the X layer. <laughs> so now we are stuck with this T over here. So we're going to move this over, and what I'm going to do is, with this part down here, we're going to kind of like make it as a point, and if you go like this, and then like do the expand thing, it's going to cut off part of this part right here, so then it's not going to be equal. So we're just going to move this over, and we're going to click on the X, go to modify and expand, and I need to move this in about two little click things just with the arrow keys and that looks perfect right there and actually I need to cut that out so now that we have that and I'm gonna take this top part off of this T also because it's gross okay and I need to cut this part out right here because it rounded on the X, it didn't make it to a point. And with this verb and vibes text, I forgot to say this before, like when you're cutting something out, all these um, angles for the most part are at uh, 45 degrees. And so if you click with your pen tool and hold shift, and then just like if you click anywhere, if you, well, not over there, but if you click in uh, like, like an angle or whatever, like that will go completely straight, that will go completely. Uh, straight and then like if you click in an angle anywhere like around here it will go to 45 degrees and then so you can just cut it out like that instead of like trying to make it precise um, at 45 degrees I think this is 45 degrees I don't know okay anyway so we got a lot of the text logo done for the most part and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this middle part expand all the way over and so I'm going to click on the E, and we are going to 
get the marquee tool and uh, select that and then player via copy or you can just press Control J on your keyboard I think and then it will copy too and you're just gonna copy this all the way over press Control E to merge them and then we're gonna click on this X select modify expand five pixels and delete that yeah that looks right okay I guess I just have to cut this out I don't know if I did that before but we got to we have to cut this little part out on here Good enough um so yeah like you, you just gotta have some creativity when you're doing these um, like let's say I wanted to take this copy that and just extend this get perfect right there um and then like do it on this side too. So you're gonna press Control T to transform, right click, flip horizontal, and actually you gotta flip vertical too. And move that. So boom. Um merge these quick. It's a T merge those that's a T okay um but yeah then once you're done with everything you can press control E to merge that and then move this to, to the center I'm not gonna show you how to do the outline if you guys want to know how to do that let me know in the comments and uh, that will be the next tutorial that I do but till then um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial so if this helped or whatever uh, leave a like and comment, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, peace.